In just a few hours, Governor Gretchen Whitmer will give her first budget proposal to Michigan lawmakers at the state capitol. She's scheduled to present it at 11 o'clock this morning. The governor today will take her first step on fulfilling two promises she made during her campaign. That's fixing Michigan's roads and boosting funding through the state schools. Governor Whitmer's first executive budget will propose adding more than half a billion dollars in new classroom spending to benefit K through 12 schools in Michigan. Her budget calls for a per pupil funding increase between 120 and 180 dollars that will total 235 million dollars. On top of that, Governor Whitmer will propose a $120 million bump for special education, more than $100 million for at-risk students, and $50 million for career and tech students. Governor Whitmer's budget will also give Michigan one of the highest gas taxes in the country. The proposal will include a 45-cent gas tax hike. It'll be phased in three separate intervals. The first hike would happen in October, then again in April of 2020, and it would be fully phased in by October of next year. The proposal would raise an estimated $2 billion a year to fix the roads. Local drivers, however, appear to be torn on the issue. I'm not opposed to contributing to paying taxes for the roads to be fixed. We're already paying a lot higher taxes or a lot higher here for car insurance and everything. Find another way instead of keep raising the taxes on stuff that was already supposed to be there in the first place. Now, last month, a bipartisan group of former state lawmakers proposed a 47 percent or 47 cent per gallon hike in the fuel tax. But that was over the course of nine years instead of the one year period Governor Whitmer is proposing. The governor's office says the budget proposal will also include protections to help offset the cost to people's wallets, but said those details won't be released until today. Governor Whitmer will present her budget proposal to a joint meeting of the House and Senate Appropriations Committees at 11 a.m. today. We'll have full coverage of it later for you today on Fox 47.